when we teach people about the pleasant life, how to have more pleasure in your life, one of your assignments is to take the mindfulness skills, the savoring skills, and you're assigned to design a beautiful day. Next Saturday, set a day aside, design yourself a beautiful day, and use savoring and mindfulness to enhance those pleasures. And we can show in that way that the pleasant life is enhanced. Gratitude visit. I want you all to do this with me now, if you would. Close your eyes. I'd like you to remember someone who did something enormously important that changed your life in the good direction who you never properly thanked. The person has to be alive. Okay? Now, okay, you can open your eyes. I hope all of you have such a person. Your assignment when you're learning the gratitude visit is to write a 300-word testimonial to that person, call them on the phone in Phoenix, ask if you can visit, don't tell them why, show up at their door, uh, you read the testimonial, everyone weeps when this happens, um, and what happens is when we test people one week later, a month later, three months later, they're both happier and less depressed. Um, another example is a strength state in which we get couples to identify their highest strengths on the strengths test and then to design an evening in which they both use their strengths. And we find this is a strengthener of relationships. And fun versus philanthropy, but it's so heartening to be in a group like this in which uh, so many of you have turned your lives to philanthropy. Well, my undergraduates and the people I work with haven't discovered this, so we actually have people do something altruistic uh, and do something fun and to contrast it. And what you find is when you do something fun, it has a square wave walk set. When you do something philanthropic to help another person, it lasts and it lasts. Uh, so those are examples of positive interventions. Uh, so 